All right. So you can straight away start recording. Even I am recording. So what I, what we'll do is the recording has already been started. Uh, you can have the video, whatever we are discussing today, uh, the audio, video, visual. You can have that, and you can check it out, Rish, on this link uh, a little after we end the session. So it will be uploaded. I'll ask the administrator to upload it. Yeah. So you can just go into this link and check out this video as well, or whatever we'll be discussing. All right. So today is an introductory class. We'll try to learn. <coughs> basics of internet marketing uh, internet marketing is basically a derivative a child of marketing so whatever fundamentals which applies with marketing does apply with digital marketing and this is my request that do not always treat digital marketing as a different subject it will always be a derivative of marketing and the better you try to have fundamental principles cleared with marketing you will be able to put a better effort in terms of digital marketing as well uh, now digital marketing is highly perceived which i have observed sorry is highly perceived as 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 a tool running function as as something like an engineering function that you does this and the output will be like that uh, <clears throat> but it is not always the case in fact it is not most of the time the case it's a perfect blend of art and science yes there are tools which are there in the market or which even you can make it if you know coding and development and the tool will ultimately re result in something but as a digital marketer it is the artistic value which you bring in running the tool the results which you which you basically want to achieve the objectives which you keep in mind and the patience which you show with the uh, with whatever campaigns you run, uh, this may look a little, you know, heavy words right now. Not getting into the synchronization, what I really want to say. But as long as we go, so Venkat is not able to hear me clearly. Uh, is this the same problem which is uh, happening with everybody? Because so you guys are able to hear me clearly, right? Shubham and Ravi Jodh and Shukminda. All right, uh, Venkat, why don't you just check it out at your end? Uh, switch off the mic and switch on. How to set high value in laptop? There must be a switch at F12 if I'm not wrong. Just function in F12 and increase the value, or you can just check out at the right bottom corner and there will be a volume button. You can just increase that. Is it okay? Is it good to go now, Venkat? All right. Uh, so this is how you should perceive it and implement digital marketing. Yeah. Uh, I'll I'll also give you a little glimpse of how marketers take marketing into hand, and this is how a digital marketer, uh, you and me, have to take it. Uh, <clears throat> What what the first idea which comes into our mind once we think of digital marketing? Can why don't you just prompt me, uh, Sukhminder, Venkat, <coughs> Ravi Jodh, Arish, everybody. What is the first thing? What you have to do in digital marketing? What is the first thing which comes into your mind? Ravi Jodh, why don't you reply, Shubham? SEO, building strategy, online marketing. No, first thing which you have to do, I mean, uh, uh, an action which you have to do. Some campaign in Facebook, like for example, it, it can come to your mind. An ad of YouTube can come to your mind. SEO, like it came into his mind. Website came into Ravi Jodh's mind. Nice. Analysis of the market situation came into Shubham's mind. Learning came into Sukhminder mind but I'm I'm not 
Shukminder asking for uh, okay, if it's learning is coming into your mind, but I'm asking what is the first action which you can do comes into your mind, not the other way around. What is the first thing which you can do in digital marketing, right? Website came into your mind. Now, if you just clearly define it, <coughs> Venkat, I'm sorry, I've been asked this question many times. I've answered this many times. Uh, this is the last time I'm responding to your answer, uh, to your question. Uh, this is the number you can just check it out on the screen right now. Five times nine. I'm just also writing it down. Five times nine, five seven, two double five. This is the administrative number for digital marketing Barchala. You can just call them and resolve your query. I'm not in a position to answer back. Uh, all right. I'm sorry for this break, which which was caused. But anyways, I'm just coming back. Uh, so <clears throat> website comes into you certain <clears throat> minds. SEO comes into certain minds. A social media promotion may come into certain minds. Uh, <clears throat> now there is a clear definition if we if we go about it. If if a promotion through SEO comes into mind, it it it's a part of promotional activity. Like you have a product in your hand, you have a brand in your hand. That brand can be a tea brand, or it can be let's say a t-shirt making brand, or it can be a shoe making brand, or it can be a service, a car washing service, or anything like that. You have a brand, you have a product in in your hand. You can be an agency who has been given a task to promote it, or you can be a brand manager or a digital marketing manager in in the brand's team only to promote it. Now the first thing which comes into your mind is the promotional part of it. And I have to have the maximum hits into it to get the maximum order into it and then in return we'll able to give maximum sales out of it. That is a part of promotion. But th this is not where any marketing or digital marketing starts. Uh, it basically starts with looking around the product. Uh, you should not jump into promotion straight away. Now, this is something which you have to keep in mind, even if you are doing a digital marketing and not the complete marketing. Uh, website certain number of times is that product, uh, especially if you are giving services based on website like e-commerce or like a mobile app service. So if you're giving that kind of service, website becomes a part of a digital marketing. How to make it or making it something which I can't teach you right now uh, because that's a development area. But yes, uh, managing a website is something which we can uh, discuss and which in fact we will discuss. And then comes the next stage of when somebody searches for it, we are just trying to put it on the top so that, you know, the tendency of approaching that guy to us becomes very, very high and then becomes the promotional need of doing it. Uh, Ravi Jyot is saying that because we need some space for displaying our product, so we need website. Yes, so website uh, plays. I will come to a website slide as well, uh, going about by two, three slides, but I'll just pre on whatever I have to discuss on that. Uh, website basically Ravijot, becomes uh, a, with a certain objective differently to a different, uh, you know, product which we have in hand. Sometimes website becomes nothing but a classified. Sometimes it becomes only for the information grasping. Sometimes it becomes a full cycle, like an e-commerce site, like you go to a Jabong or Mintra or uh, let's say Flipkart and Amazon, you ultimately complete the full cycle, yes. And for some corporates which are there into B2B, jo solar panel bana rahe hai, ya jo advertisement karate hai, only on online. So for them, it becomes an information base. What we do, how can you have it? Yeah. So. <clears throat> It becomes like Ravi Jyot is saying, it becomes a platform where it is visible to all just by putting stuff over there. So, the first problem was that we can tell someone that we can print a hard browser or not. Now, the hard browser is very good, even into the field which is required like architecture and interior designing. 
even they go with soft uh, browsers and all that real estate oriented products so because it's sitting at any any place in the world you will be able to see it right so that is the reason website came into existence and since website has taken a shape of a product itself uh, your capacity to contribute as a digital marketer and digital marketer starts from there and not ki yaar mere ko website se koi lena dena nahi aur mere ko to sirf isko promote karna hai maximum traffic la ke dena hai if your website will not have that power you ultimately will not have that kind of traffic staying into your website as well even if it's it's a corporate oriented browser or classified oriented site uh, right right uh, <clears throat> anything which you want to discuss at this stage right now related to websites all right so my idea is whenever you think of digital marketing do not only think of in an arbitrary way this is the first thing which i really want to put it as a seed into your mind that think it in a synchronization way it's like a music every note will have a connect before it so <clears throat> try to think whatever digital space uh attribute you see any website you see what is the reason behind putting it up how this can be used for my leverage i can, how i can use it as a horse and you know try to ride on its shoulder and try to run my objective out of it uh facebook will not be able to give you same contribution what youtube will be able to give you uh and the similar way an e-commerce portal will not be able to give you that kind of mileage if you are let's say a brand manager of a shoe making company and now you have various options in front of you i'm just discussing on a visual way and try to visualize it uh that you have a facebook you can promote it on a facebook you have a youtube you can promote it on a youtube you can e- even have e-commerce sites where you can contribute uh, or where you can take the you know leverage and go with it or you also have a sites which are not related to this like an ircd site indian railways but you know that you have a great traffic over there and you can just you know prompt uh, a brand over there with a banner and all that then you have a search engines which in itself have become a promotional bandwidth because people are searching more before buying it right uh murli this is the same uh, i'm sorry i'm just stopping in between to answer murli uh murli <coughs> uh why don't you contact the administrator nick batla just contact him he'll be able to help you out in this i'm only a trainer over i'll not be able to help you out in this now <clears throat> this is what i want to say so we'll just uh, line by line we'll try to discuss a little a way of doing business and how they can help us out of the big tickets right now like for example uh let us take facebook right now uh or in fact google also works on the same fundamental uh what is their modus operandi of doing it if if has to be defined in a layman terms in a one line way i'm discussing them because they are the major players of online digital marketing today and they are in fact google has been termed as the highest gross running advertising agency uh in the world so and facebook is also catching up really really fast in developing economies like us what is there it is like a zoo which i see it is like this picture which you see tiger viewing is free for them right aapko andar aana hai tiger dekhna hai tiger is free for you it is the experience for which you are paying and somebody else is paying not the user but the supplier right basically who wants to promote their brand so for for you as a general user a buyer of the service you have been catered free just dial also works the same way uh, right india mart just dial these indian players also run the same way that you can call and uh, you know check it out where your services which you want to avail so you get their information for free you get the information for free but somebody else is paying for that information whoever want their information to be spread same way 
when you get into Facebook, your experience is free, but somebody else is paying for that. So first they do is make it everything free. Even for suppliers, they do not open the channel of advertising right from the word go. They let a good million billion figures of users come into their site. Ek share ke mein khun lagana is like a Hindi kahawat. Once you get used to it, they know that they have a good database with them and now people will be ready to come in and invest and sell their services. This is how Quaker does. This is how, uh, you know, OLX does. Once you have a free listing going, you know, on the round of millions, they start charging you for the top listings or some any other innovative advertisement product they can bring onto the site and go and ask the suppliers to pay for them. To, for their ad in one way or the other to be displayed right uh, like for example if you go with Mulli, can you please stop all right uh, i'm sorry but uh, the share uh, the screen which Mulli is sharing is not visible to me probably because i am the presenter here so um Mulli, if that is the case please stop sharing screens uh, and all of you, please do not share the screen. Let only one screen prevail right now. Yeah, and whatever you want to discuss, we can discuss it after after the uh, the class. If in case it is not related to the class and else any other thing, right? Now, <clears throat> uh, this is the general idea, and if we know this. We know the modus operandi of the vehicle which we'll be taking. This is more or less the uh, you know the modus operandi of all the players which are into B two C, which is called business to consumer products. Does all of us know what is the difference? I'll also try to give various lingos of marketing in between, so that you know you just get in hands of to that. Does we know what is B two B and B two C? A common marketing language. Ravi Jyot, Jitender Singh, Haresh. Ravi Jyot says no. Shubham says yes. So we have various no's over here. So I'll let you know. B2C. B2C. And. B2B. B2C is business to consumer and uh, B2B is business to business. Uh, now, Facebook is a business to consumer product. Google is because it is going to the end consumer. The buyer, the consumer over here is the end consumer. Whereas if you are an agency who is working as a digital marketer and working for different brand, different companies, then you become a B2B because your end product is for a business and not for an end consumer to consume right so if somebody is a retailer who is selling products on a retail aapke neighborhood retail mom and pop grocery store mein, mein agar koi kuch bech hai, to wo b2b se kharidta hai aur b2c ko bechta hai companies sell to their consumer directly is b2c right and for those companies who their clients basically are uh, the companies which resell it N not only that product but various other products like for, let's take an example a grocery store in our neighborhood in which we get Dabar products Amul products uh, you know some beauty products including ponds and everything we also get that now for that retailer and that company who is selling that to retailer first that becomes a B2B transaction अब उधर कोई एक एडवर्टाइजर चला गया मेरे जैसा और बोला कि सर आपके ना शॉप के आगे कोई बोर्ड ही नहीं लगा हुआ अच्छा था और जो भी लगा हुआ आपने पेंटेड लगाया हुआ है कांसेप्ट ऑफ 1980s 1980s व्हाई डोंट यू पुट अ ग्लो साइन बोर्ड एक लाइट में चमकता हुआ एवरीबॉडी विल बी एबल टू सी इट एंड ही सेज यस 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 व्हाट इज द कोड आई विल गिव हिम द कोड नो फॉर मी एंड ही टेक्स माय सर्विसेज आई मेक अ बोर्ड फॉर हिम एंड आई पुट इट और इंस्टॉल इट ऑन द फोरहेड ऑफ हिज शॉप नो फॉर मी my these kind of clients becomes a B2B. I'm a business to business wala. I'm going to end consumer. Ko ja ke kya ke aage board ke liye. So this is not a business. 
एंड सपोज आई गो टू इंडिविजुअल एंड से कि आपके हाउस के आगे देर इज नो नेम प्लेट वाई डोंट यू जस्ट पुट अ स्मॉल नेम प्लेट इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर हाउस और एट योर थ्रेश होल्ड और वाई डोंट यू जस्ट पुट दैट देन आई एम डूइंग अ बी टू सी गाइन ऑफ थिंग अ बिजनेस टू कंज्यूमर सो एवरीबडी इज क्लियर वट इज बी टू बी एंड बी टू सी दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो बिकॉज वंस यू नो दैट क्योंकि आप जिस भी ब्रांड को प्रमोट करेंगे एज अ डिजिटल मार्केटर there will be a, always a situation that your brand is a b2b brand or b2c brand because if you know that you know what can be your target audience you know what tools to take uh if i'm i'm current i'm also working as a consultant to various uh, companies and uh recently i got a job for <clears throat> and got an assignment for a b2b company and he wants it purely online and let me tell you it is very very difficult because if it's a b2c it is very easy because you have a ready made tools with you you know aap facebook mein promote kar sakte hain aap uh, youtube mein acha promotion kar sakte hain if in case they have the budgets but when it becomes b2b it is very very difficult to take out the chunk because mujhe kisi office ke baithe hue bahut 100 logo ke beech mein ek administrative manager ko pick karna hai without being approaching him directly through online ways through his facebook accounts through his you know uh, google accounts and all that it it becomes relative relative very very difficult for me to do that and in same time it will become very very difficult for you to do that uh so but it is not an undoable job you have to be clever every now and then there will be new platforms coming in there will be new ways coming in so just be handful so the steps goes like that first you have to understand what product you are offering then you also have to understand what type of business you are doing uh you may be working directly under the brand or you will be may- working as a consultant you will be working as a uh, digital marketing agency who's been given a responsibility and a paycheck to you know do their marketing activities so the first thing which you have to determine is ki product kya hai yaar ye b2b ke liye hai b2c ke liye hai कौन कौन इसके टारगेट हो सकते हैं हाउ एंड वट एवर अवेलेबल टूल्स इन डिजिटल मार्केटिंग स्पेस आई हैव वेन आई से टूल्स आई मीन टू से दैट एनी थिंग विच इज अवेलेबल इन डिजिटल मार्केटिंग एंड आई आई कैन यूज इट देर विल बी फ्यू टूल्स विच कम्स एब्सोल्यूटली फ्री लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल सर्च इंजन ऑप्टिमाइजेशन यू नीड नॉट टू बाय एन इन्वेंट्री फॉर इट कुछ हमको एक्सटर्नली बाय नहीं करना है सिर्फ एक ह्यूमन रिसोर्स का जो कॉस्ट जाता है हो जाता है एज कम्पेयर टू ऑन द सेम searching thing a keyword search adword use karke you can put your keyword search ad into uh, google searches so in that case you have to pay extra for the inventory and you have to make a choice that have should i go with seo path or should i go with a paid searches part and if i go with both the parts what amount of money should i put for uh, you know google adword spendings for this kind of product and what i should not so concentrate here more than to run ki yaar ye google mein jo upar ad aa raha hai wo ad aata kaise hai wo to pata chal jayega we'll do that but start your thinking from here that what you have to do before how you have to do it yeah clear till here murli this will be a little theoretical session today because it's an introductory thing once we start running the practical tool runnings then it will become relatively more you know interesting for you guys All right. Anything anybody want to say till here? Just that that could be a various uh, thoughts crossing your mind. So we'll make an interactive session. You can just speak whatever you want to speak. Yeah. How can we practice this? Uh, two ways of going about it. Uh, a dive into the digital space. Make a website. Make your product. and dry run it you have to sometimes spend a little money also but do that and i have been said i'm not sure that you are on a demo session or you are subscribed but i mean told that whosoever will subscribe into in, into this course uh, will be given a free website this is what i have been told uh, and if your course applies for that uh, you'll get a website under your name or whatever one website for you 
so you can contact the administrator ask them to give you a website as early as possible once you get the website do a business of your choice it can be a blog writing it can be an e-commerce thing it can be anything but just practice it then and whatever we are going to discuss during the course in every batch in every co in every class try to implement it and do it yeah Yeah, Ravi Jod, you uh, are already a website developer, so for you it will be very uh, not that difficult to design a website. But uh, just start working on selling the website. Selling in the website as in uh, using the tools of making it visible to the world. Try to use the organic tools which are not costly. Uh, try to also use a few costly affairs, spending a little money on them and try to see the response. Uh, yeah, so do that. Yeah, good. Now, since I've said that we have to start with the product first, we have to start the website first, uh, but then we have to understand what kind of different websites will be there. Uh, a website developer or who whosoever is into making of website will give you a very technical, uh, responses to that uh, I will not go technical during the whole course that is not the idea of how I you know uh, give my contribution to trainees uh, let's work in the domain of uh, a layman understandings and give an expertise touch to it so that you get a handful knowledge of both so for website, we'll discuss in a in a very basic terms. I see websites as into three, four classifications, and there could be more classifications, which is which I have not understood, which you can let me know what can be there. First, there can be a content-based website, uh, an easy website which works nothing but a platform, like I've been said earlier. Uh, few of you have said that. It works as as an address it works as a page where somebody lands up will know what you do so it can be your name website it can be a company name website you're just demonstrating you're just trying to say whatever you want to say and use it as a platform so that is an understanding of a content-based website it will not be a complex website uh, <clears throat> to develop and even on a CMS base, it will not be a difficult website. So there will be various CMS. Portfolio. Does we know what is like? Yes, like personal portfolio websites or a personal blog, like exactly. And it can be also a company based website, which is only content oriented. Right. So it will have an about us page. It will have a services page or whatever service we do. It have a contact us form page and something like that. Yeah. So it will be a content based website. So there is, uh, in a communication language, it will be half duplex. Now there are two questions which are two lingos which I've used, and I have to know from everybody of you that how many of you knows this lingo. Does we know what is CMS, and does we know what is half duplex communication and full duplex communication? I'll go one by one. Does we all know what is CMS, content management system? Hari says no. Please everybody answer yes or no. Uh, even if one says no, I'll answer that. So muted. Unmuted. Yes. Are you able to hear me now? Subin, can you hear me now, Ravi Jo? All right. Now, CMS is content management system. Now, what happens is a developer make a site in a in a coding, right? In a language which you and me doesn't know that. Now there is a software companies, a website provided software companies which have come in between and said. Yeah, website banana was mushkil hai. A coded language, a technical know-how hai, wo har koi nahi kar sakta. And why don't we do something about it? 
and they made content management systems which they come yes magento is one of the cms best cms is which ebay has produced for uh, e-commerce sites but i'll come to that uh, now what happens is they say kya theek hai hum ek ordinary bande ko ek graphic tools de dete hain jisme wo easily samajh paaye ki kaise website banani hai aur usko ek back end panel de dete hain whatever he do does with that will be reflected onto the front end of the site so it becomes relatively easy to make a site on that so you and me can make a site basically it's not a making of a site but more of a management of a site and that's why i call it as a management of a site and not a making of a site like for example wordpress joomla magento every cms have its core strength magento has been made to keep a, a robust e-commerce kind of site if you want to make and it is also available few of these tools like magento cms are available for, to developer to take a basic theme and then apne hisab se usme kuch addition deletion karne hai to wo kar lete hain usme but for even for a for a layman like you and me in terms of uh, website of making will be able to make it using those cms so these are nothing but administrative panels hote hain aap back end pe ja ke you can just change it like for example you do a facebook mein jis tarike se aap kaam karte hain सेम वे उसमें होगा वो पैनल की विंडो थोड़ी अलग अलग दिखेंगी बट वंस यू गेट यूज्ड टू इट यू विल बी एबल टू मेक अ साइट ऑन दैट एंड दिस इज हाउ विल स्टार्ट टुडे इन फैक्ट विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम टुडे ओनली हाउ टू मैनेज अ वर्डप्रेस साइट अ बेसिक साइट हम कैसे बनाएंगे एंड विल गो स्टेप बाय स्टेप सो विल स्टार्ट अ वेरी पर्सनल ओरिएंटेड साइट टुडे एंड देन विल ग्रेजुअली मूव इट टुवर्ड्स हाउ टू ऑप्टिमाइज इट एंड यू नो गो इट अबाउट इन अ सर्च इन योर ऑप्टिमाइजेशन एंड ऑल दैट so these are cms these are content management systems which comes in between to run that show uh, all right then there are retail based websites uh, okay now my other question was uh, in a communications language you know marketing communication and digital marketing communications language there is a lingo which is called half duplex communication yes it is not only based on uh, cms ravijo it itself is a cms <clears throat> right now uh, uh the, there is a, a lingo in communication which is half duplex communication and full duplex communication can uh, yeah so when this is this was what i was saying cms the full form of cms is content management systems it is basically a tool yeah you got it uh now <clears throat> in communications there is a lingo which is used uh engineers probably will be knowing it through other teams as well a half duplex communication and full duplex communication does we know what is half duplex communication and full duplex communication you can just prompt yes or no no says avijo no says seven yes you are right shubham yeah one way communication half duplex communication is one way communication subham is right and full duplex communication is when the communication is happening two way uh walkie talkie aata tha pehle yaad hai abhi bhi aata hai army especially use that usme kya hai ek taraf se ek bar bol sakte hain aur fir uske baad button aapko hatana padta hai usko click se and only one ek jagah se hi voice travel hoti hai now that is called half duplex communication a content management site is a half duplex communication only the one who is promoting the site making the site the supplier site will be able to say whatever he wants to say and there are there are very less call to action buttons there are uh, i mean there is nothing usme full duplex communication ka se fake mode hota hai contact form pe karna and that too is very half duplex because there is no real time response coming into that right so i term it as half duplex communication whereas retail based websites like a telephone conversation aap hum dono ne phone apne apne end pe liya hua hai aur dono ek dusre ko overlap karke bol sakte hain right so whatsapp communication is a full duplex in 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 terms of platform but at one point of time only one but only one person can say that so it's like a mix of two 
Now the same way, uh, a retail based website, like an e-commerce based website, like a Flipkart, there both the things are happening. Supplier be apni communication data, product detail and everything. And you have been asked to contribute in, into it. Aap usko buy now karke jate hain. Aap usme quantity feed kar sakte hain. Aap fir ek usme third party bhi aa jata hai. Jaha pe payment gateways or logistics jo bhi supply chain manage karta hai. Uske baad bhi information back end pe pahunchti hai. Har ek cheez ki jo hum karte hain. So it becomes a full cycle of communication. And there are various parties who have been uh, exchanging data. <coughs> sorry and things are happening really fast so utne bade show ko manage karne ke liye bhi there are content management uh, platforms uh, content management systems and magento has so far proven to be the best platform a cms based platform other than joomla uh, for that right so are we clear what is a half duplex communication full duplex communication content based site retail based sites yeah then then there are market acha in e-commerce we now have a terminology which you must have experienced in various websites and various articles that it's a marketplace website and so does we know what is a marketplace website and what is the opposite of a marketplace website shubham murli ravi joj Yes, Ravi Jodh is saying where we can sell our products online. Yes, but can you just go a little further? Uh, because an e-commerce site can be a marketplace site and an wholesale site and an aggregator based site and affiliate site. But what is marketplace technically? Yes, selling is happening. Any e-commerce means selling is happening. But even in e-commerce, there are various classifications. Yeah, there are various classifications uh, in e-commerce. An e-commerce site can be a marketplace site or an e-commerce site can be an wholesale site website and e-commerce can be an affiliate website also. So, but what is marketplace and what is an affiliate site? Any example of that and what is an wholesale site? The more you know about these terms, uh, that is why I'm including all these terms in the introductory class. It will help you out going forward in your career. Yes, like Flipkart. But what what does that mean? I mean, why do we why do a Flipkart is a marketplace site? Ravi Jyoti is right in saying affiliates are where we sell the products of other website. Very right. I'll give you an example, Ravi Jodh. Just remind me of giving an example. I'll just demonstrate on a screen only. Yes, affiliate ke liye hum sab sahi hai. Haresh is saying multiple vendors. Again, you are right. A marketplace is basically when you are not selling it and you have created a platform for multiple sellers, multiple vendors, which Haresh is saying. And there are multiple buyers who are coming into it. So you are just making buyers and sellers meet to each other, providing a little service in between. So that the transactions happen smoothly and the consumer satisfaction reaches to the optimum level. Uh, I'm just stopping in between to answer Venkat. Uh, go to meeting will work. I don't know what kind of uh, intolerance in the meeting you are. Uh, Coming across Vengat, I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, I'll come back to the topic again. Harish is saying aggregators. Aggregators is like what you can see on the screen right now. Uh, aggregators is basically somebody else is make giving the whole service. प्रोडक्ट किसी और का अल्टीमेटली है और आप उस प्रोडक्ट के आगे अपना प्रोडक्ट ऐड करते हैं एज अ रीजर एज अ इंजन टू इट एंड ड्यू टू यू दीज पीपल आर गेटिंग देयर एडवांटेज लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल देर इज अ सर्विस कॉल्ड ब्रीदिंग रूम्स व्हाट दे डू इज फॉर अ स्टार्टअप 
ओके मैं आपको ओरिजिन से बताता हूँ फॉर स्टार्टअप नाउ देर आर वेरियस वेरियस को वर्किंग स्पेस कंपनीज कमिंग अप तो क्या करते हैं एक जगह ले लेते हैं जहाँ पे देर विल बी फिफ्टी फोर्टी हंड्रेड और सीट्स विद डेम एंड देर रेंट ऑन अ पर मंथ बेसिस टू अ स्टार्टअप सो अ स्टार्टअप विल गेट एन ऑफिस और अ फ्री लांसर विल गेट एन ऑफिस एट अ मिनिमम मनीज ऑफ बिटवीन थ्री फोर थाउजेंड रुपीज पर मंथ टू सेवन एट थाउजेंड रुपीज पर मंथ एंड देव द स्पेस नॉ दर एग्रीगेटर कम इन बिटवीन एंड विद वन सर्विस विद वन वेबसाइट या इट कुड बी अ फ्री का माल टाइप वेबसाइट बट आई हैवन चेक आउट फ्री का माल राइट नाउ बट आई एम जस्ट गिविंग एन एग्जाम्पल सो वट दे डू इज दे कम एज एन एग्रीगेटर इन बिटवीन और उन्होंने इन सब की इन्वेंट्री को अपने वेबसाइट पे समूह लिया एक तरह से ठीक है और आप इनके यहाँ पे जाओ और बुक करो और अल्टीमेटली उनके वहां पे बुकिंग हो जाएगी और द स्पेस विल बी रेडी फॉर यू एंड यू कैन अवेल इट दीज एव बिकम एग्रीगेटर ओला इज एन एग्रीगेटर बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली द टैक्सी सर्विस प्रोवाइडर इज समी एल्स एंड दे आर दग्रीगेटर्स विच इज कम इन बिटवीन सेम वे फॉर ऑल अदर एग्रीगेटर सर्विस प्रोवाइडर्स अ मार्केट प्लेस इज लाइक वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अ फ्लिपकार्ट एंड ऑल दैट Shopify is is a CMS somehow, so they provide a content management based a system for developers to make a site. Uh, so that's little different. So are we clear till here? What are all these types of site and 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 an e-commerce site which basically sell their own product our own sell site jabong used to do it once upon a time but recently they have included a marketplace model into it but their idea was to produce their own produce buy it and then sell it so they becomes the seller the invoicing which happens happens on their name on their company name and if invoicing is not happening in your company name but your website is only working as a platform and you know servicing various services then it becomes a marketplace site and in contributing to that service provision the companies in india especially are playing with little innovations cod was not a various good tool used in foreign countries kyunki wahan card se payment was prominent with us cod becomes a major driving force and 70 to 75% of the transactions still happens on a, on a popular site on a cod basis which is cash on delivery so it's a new innovation which marketplace have to bring flipkart has to bring in picture just to grow and scale their business the same way amazon also not only gives cod will uh, have first started with giving fulfillment by amazon fba products so does we know what is fba i'm sorry if i'm but i really want you to know how the website business and digital marketing business happens yeah Does we know what is their product called FBA? और वो प्रोडक्ट हर कोई करता है अभी स्नैपडील उसको किसी और नाम से कर रहा है फ्लिपकार्ट किसी और नाम से कर रहा है ओके बट वी नो हाउ ई कॉमर्स वर्क राइट अब मार्केट प्लेस वर्क सेलर कहीं और बैठा है बायर कहीं और बैठा है ई कॉमर्स एक फ्लैट ओके आई एल एक्सप्लेन एट आई एक्सप्लेन दैट रवि जो नोस बट आई एल एक्सप्लेन इट फॉर एवरीबडी एल्स ऑल्सो Amazon एक वेबसाइट है जो आपको देख रही है राइट एंड अ बायर कैन बी सिटिंग इन और सेलर कैन बी सिटिंग इन इंदौर एंड दी ऑर्डर मस्ट हैव कम फ्रॉम लेट से तिरुपुर अभी क्या है <coughs> जो ई वे लेके आया था ई वे वॉज वेरी वेरी फर्स्ट टू ब्रिंग ई कॉमर्स नॉट इन टू दी वर्ल्ड बट इन टू दी इंडिया एज वेल और उधर क्या होता था बायर सेलर को वो दिखा देता था इन्फॉर्मेशन लेकिन कहता था आपस में बात कर लो और ट्रांसपोर्ट लॉजिस्टिक पेमेंट वेमेंट आपस में देख लो डोंट इंक्लूड मी इन बिटवीन आई एम एन आई टी कंपनी आई रिजिस्ट माई सेल्फ टू दैट ओनली एंड आई गिव अ कोर सर्विस इन दैट एरिया ओनली बट फ्लिपकार्ट शो अ गैप इन बिटवीन अमेजन गैप इन बिटवीन इन टू द इंटरनेशनल बिजनेस एंड दे हैव प्रोडक्ट उन्होंने कहा कि यार सेलर को देना होता है तो बहुत सारी प्रॉब्लम आती हैं ऑन ग्राउंड प्रॉब्लम्स पेमेंट किस किस तरीके से जल्दी से जल्दी पहुंचे प्रोडक्ट की क्वालिटी कैसे डिटरमाइन हो 
अभी क्या है बहुत सारे रिटेलर कूद गए तो रिटेलर्स आर लिटिल फिशी इन डूइंग बिजनेस आपको दिखाया ब्लू कलर का प्रोडक्ट एक लेट से पेन ड्राइव और बेच दिया ग्रीन कलर का दिखाया एट जी बी दे दिया फोर जी बी अब एक पहुंच गया ना तिरपुर अब कौन वापस कर रहा है देखा जाएगा दो चार रिटर्न भी आएंगे तो देख लेंगे दिस इज हाउ दिट डस बिजनेस तो एक एक करके इस वेरियस प्लग्स को फिलफिल करे गए और अच्छे अच्छे प्रोडक्ट बनाए गए अमेजन ने एक प्रोडक्ट बनाया जो कि फ्लिपकार्ट भी करता है वो किसी और नाम से करता है सॉरी फॉर गेटिंग इट्स नेम और स्नैपडील भी करता है वट इट डज इज बिकॉज सप्लायर्स आर सिटिंग अक्रॉस द कंट्री एंड देर आर लैक्स ऑफ सप्लायर स्मॉल बिग एंड ऑल दैट अगर कोई ऑर्डर आता है तो देर इज वन वे ऑफ डूइंग इट विच इज इफ यू नो दैट एफ बी ए इट इज नॉट फुलफिलमेंट बाय अमेजन that means amazon is not basically taking a quality check and quantity check on to the product it is basically aapko ye pata hai as a buyer or you should know as a buyer that seller ko aapne approach kara matlab platform ke through seller ye wala seller hai aur he directly he'll sell the product to you usme jo transport hai wo shayad hamara use kar le but we cannot guarantee anything related to product in terms of quality and quantity and the टाइम विच इट टेक्स फॉर शिपमेंट विल ऑल्सो भी हायर क्योंकि वो प्रोडक्ट उसके इन्वेंट्री हाउस पे पड़ा हुआ है तो हमारा एक बंदा जाएगा उसको पिक करेगा और एक नॉर्मल प्रोसेस ऑफ लॉजिस्टिक्स में लेके आएगा और विद इन अ सेट डे आपको दिया जाएगा तो उन्होंने देखा कि इसके बीच में बहुत सारे गैप्स हैं एक तो लेट पहुंचता है क्वालिटी ठीक नहीं आती क्वान्टिटी ठीक नहीं आती पैकिंग में प्रॉब्लम हो जाती है कई बार प्रोडक्ट ही नहीं ऐसा भी वेरी वेरी कॉमन इन ई कॉमर्स की बुकिंग आ गई सेलर के पास उसने लिस्ट कर रखा था लेकिन वो प्रोडक्ट उसने कहीं और भेज दिए वो है ही नहीं उसके पास और आपने ऑनलाइन बुकिंग कर दी एंड दैट इज द रीजन दे ऑलवेज कीप अ डे और टू बफर सो दैट वो सप्लायर अरेंज कर पाए और कई बार वो नहीं भी कर पाता इवन दैट हैपेंस तो फिर वो मिस्टिव करता है वो खाली डब्बा भेज देता है या कुछ भी रख के भेज देता है और सोचता है कि बाद में रिटर्न आएगा तो दस दिन का गैप मिल जाएगा उसके बीच में अल अरेंज है दिस इज वेरी कॉमन टेंडेंसी टू टैकल दैट एमेजन हैव इन्वेस्टेड इन एफ बी एंड द सेम वे फ्लिपकार्ट एंड स्नैपडील इज नाउ इन्वेस्टिंग वो अपने बड़े बड़े उन्होंने वेयर हाउस बनाए हर एक नॉट इन एवरी सिटी बट बेसिकली ऑन टू दी क्लस्टर्स ऑफ वेरियस सिटीज लाइक एमेजन का इधर मानेसर के पास है विच केटर्स टू एनसीआर और उसने मिलियंस ऑफ स्क्वायर फीट का एक वेयर हाउस करा और सेलर को बोला कि आप अपना स्टॉक पहले से इधर रखोगे और आप वो सर्विस लेना चाहते हो तो वो सर्विस के लिए आपको ये वट एवर दी चार्जेज आर एंड ऑल दैट वो आपस में दोनों के बीच में बात हो गई फॉर देम दी एडवांटेज इज Going with Amazon is अच्छा रवि ज्योत इज सेंग बट दिस दे ओनली डिस्प्ले आउट ऑफ स्टॉक रवि ज्योत वंस दिस दिस सिस्टम नोज दैट यू हैव सोल्ड इट अक्रॉस टू एनी अदर प्लेटफॉर्म अगर मैंने सिस्टम में कहीं अपडेशन ही नहीं करा तो हाउ विल यू कम टू नो आई आंसर यू एंड देन आई कंप्लीट माई सेंटेंस क्या यू गॉट इट होता क्या है मेरे पास इन्वेंट मैं पेन ड्राइव बेच रहा हूँ ना मैं दस प्लेटफॉर्म पर बेचता हूँ प्लेटफॉर्म हर एक की इन्वेंट्री अपडेट करने के लिए भी अलग से टूल्स आते हैं बट वो छोड़ो बेसिकली मुझे अपडेट करना है कहीं पर मैंने बेचा और आप मुझसे फिजिकली आ गए मेरे स्टोर में और बोला कि यार मेरे को 50 पेन ड्राइव चाहिए अभी के अभी मैंने कहा ले जा यार ये वाले चाहिए थे ले जा मैंने बेच दिए और पता चला शाम को बुकिंग आ गई उसकी अमेजन के थ्रू मेरे पास है ही नहीं और मुझे अगला स्टॉक कब आएगा मेरे पास वो भी नहीं मुझे पता तो ऐसी बहुत प्रॉब्लम्स होती हैं आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू अ स्मॉल एग्जाम्पल But you'll only get to know once you sold in that platform or any other platform using that, right? All right. Now what happens is they come in between and they have asked the vendors to put their stock on their warehouses, or as in their as in Flipkart and Amazon's warehouses. And when they come to them, they use it for fulfillment by Amazon Word because technically they cannot keep the warehouse in their. आई मीन स्टॉक इन देयर वेयर हाउस बिकॉज दे आर नॉट दी ओनर तो इसमें थोड़ा टेक्निकल टैक्सेशन का फंडा है वो खरीद के नहीं बेच रहे हैं तो उनको वर्ड फुलफिलमेंट यूज करना पड़ता है या ऐसा कुछ वर्ड यूज करते हैं वो ये बताने के लिए कि हम आपको एक एक्स्ट्रा सर्विस दे रहे हैं जिसमें हम क्वालिटी क्वान्टिटी चेक लेके चल रहे हैं पहले से तो जैसी स्टॉक आता है वो क्वालिटी क्वान्टिटी चेक मैंडेट हो जाता है उधर से तो अब रेड कलर का आइटम रेड ही आएगा ग्रीन नहीं आएगा क्योंकि वो अमेजन के चेकिंग से जा रहा है अब वो एक बात अलग है कि वो उस चेकिंग में भी गड़बड़ हो सकती है सो दैट्स अ सेकेंडरी इशू बट इट इज अप टू समर्स मिस्टेफ इज बीन स्टॉप्ड 
एंड दैट इज वाई यू गेट अ फास्टर डिलीवरी बिकॉज एक मैंडेट रूल है एफ बी एम में जो भी ऑर्डर आएगा दो घंटे के अंदर डिस्पैच करना ही है दिस इज द रूल विद फॉलो तो आप जो भी एफ बी ए का ऑर्डर करते हो आप वो देखोगे वो सबसे पहले आपके पास आ जाता है वो कई बार वो इंट्रा डे भी दे देते हैं आपको वो इसलिए दे पाते हैं क्योंकि उनके रूल है कि वो दो घंटे के अंदर वेयर हाउस को रिलीज करेगा और फिर हब तक पहुंचेगा विद इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स और अगर वो हब और कंज्यूमर एंड आसपास ही है तो वो और भी जल्दी पहुंच जाता है so this is called fulfillment by amazon this is their product this is nothing unhone ek ek service di uska naam de diya fba snapdeal mein jayenge to uska kuch aur naam hoga flipkart mein jayenge to kuch aur hoga but this is how it does so all right till here a little functionality of the e-commerce sites and what are the websites we are clear till here so if we have to now we have to think it on 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 dual way the first way is if we are a marketplace site or hum kisi category ke brand manager hain let's say jewelry ke ya dresses ke ya tops ke uh, ya jeans ke to hame promotion karna hai to which tools we should be taking use of it aur agar hum supplier end par hain और हमें प्रमोट करना है और हम वेरियस वेबसाइट पे और हमारी अपनी भी एक ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट है तो हमें कैसे प्रमोट करना होगा उसको सो एज वंस यू चेंज द सीट योर टूल्स ऑफ हाउ टू यूज इट एंड विच टूल टू यूज इट ऑल्सो चेंजेस बिकॉज योर टारगेट चेंजेस यू नो एवरीथिंग चेंजेस अराउंड इट वॉट इट टिल है everybody on the page nobody is getting bored murli says yes <laughs> no so you are finding little interesting or whatever we are discussing shravan says yes so you are getting bored shravan okay now i am just getting i know all right now here comes the interesting part uh because once you join any course your idea is if i want to become a digital marketer how the industry perceives out of me what they want as a result and this is the reason i always says that learning and execution of a tool is only 20% of the job or 20 30% of the job the 78% 70 or 80% of becoming a digital marketer lies with what to use it at what time and this is what even the uh the people who really want your service wants that and this is what they ask in the interview uh, you know or from a consultant or from anybody who is a digital marketer this is what they ask you wo aap se ye question puchte hain wo aapko ye nahi bolte ki aapko facebook ka tool chalana aata hai kaise pata chalega ki facebook mein hame north east mein market karna hai aur usme nahi karna hai वो ये सब क्वेश्चन नहीं पूछते बिकॉज दे आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन दैट इट इज गिवन दैट यू नोज दैट बट दे आस्क यू दैट इफ देर इज अ प्रोडक्ट लाइक क्विंटो क्विंटो इज अ फूड बेस्ड ऐप इन पुणे जिसमें आपको नियर बाय एरिया से पता चल जाता है कौन सा पॉपुलर फूड है और उसकी रेटिंग्स आ जाती हैं जो कंज्यूमर्स कंज्यूम करने के बाद देते सो इट दैट कैंड ऑफ सो दे बेसिकली आस्क यू एन ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन स्ट्रेट अवे दैट हाउ डू यू गेट हंड्रेड थाउजेंड यूज इन ट्वेंटी फोर वीक्स आई रियली वॉन्ट इट टू बी नंबर्स बैक right i'll give you another example vegal pizza again uh, it's a liquor based uh, lifestyle kind of uh, application and in fact probably they have their website also uh, <clears throat> so the pubs or disco bars and all that unki information hoti hai aur uske bare mein sara kuch likha hota hai and all that and you can also book your space and all that Now for them, if you are being given five crore rupees, how you are going to spend it? Yeah. So that is what a, it is expected. One of you just let me know that uh, I guess Shubham probably is the head of digital marketing. For him, these are the assignments, and for you also, this will these will be the assignments. Yeah. So try to think it that way, always. तो जो भी कैंपेन मेरा आ रहा है उसको मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव से मैं कैसे उसको फुलफिल कर सकूं ट्राई टू थिंक इट दैट वे 
सो गेटिंग इट हरेश जितेंद्र मुरली रवि जोत शुभम श्रवन सुखमेंदर आर वी गेटिंग इट so try to think it that way uh, i will not bore you much on the theoretical part we'll try to run the cms now uh all right there is one thing in the introductory which i really want to let you guys know because it's a part of digital marketing space directly <clears throat> whenever you see an ad acha just let me know कोई भी ऑनलाइन ऐड या ऑफलाइन ऐड कहीं रोड साइड पे देखा हो या टीवी में देखा हो या यूट्यूब में देखा हो या फेसबुक में देखा हो या गूगल में देखा हो कहीं पे भी जो आपने ऐड देखा आपको कौन कौन सी एड याद है लास्ट विच यू कैन रिमेम्बर जस्ट लेट मी नो द नेम ऑफ दी एड विच इज क्रॉसिंग योर माइंड एंड एवरीबडी हैज टू आंसर इट बिकॉज देन ओनली आई आंसर दिस लाइफ ओला कैप्स वेर हैव यू सीन इट शॉप क्लूज where have you seen it on youtube okay so ravi ravi jo you have seen ola cabs ad on youtube now <coughs> us ad mein kya tha just there were models who were talking about it hai na ek cab aayi hogi dikhai hogi graphic dikhaya hoga and all that now whenever there is an promotion a campaign or an ad as a digital marketer you have to know that it has classified ye bahut commonly used hoga और आपको इन दोनों पे काम करना होगा इट विल बी क्लासिफाइड एड इज बेसिकली लेड या देर वॉज एनिमेशन लाइक यू सेड एंड शॉप क्लूज का भी मुझे अभी किसी ने बताया शॉप क्लूज का एड भी देखा था उन्होंने सो हम टेकिंग बोथ द एग्जांपल्स एंड नाउ देर आर टू थिंग्स विच यू हैव सीन ओवर देर वन इज दैड वन इज दी ग्राफिक एनिमेशन येलो कलर कैप प्रोबली आई डू नॉट नो दी एड सो आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग अ गैस उसमें एक मैप सा कहीं बना होगा आइकन बना होगा प्रोबेबली देर विल बी अ फ्यू मॉडल्स विल बी टॉकिंग मॉडल्स एज इन दीपल विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट क्या दे नॉट नाउ दैट इज दी एड विच यू शो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ वट वी कॉल इन डिजिटल मार्केटिंग एंड इन मार्केटिंग क्रिएटिव तो वो क्रिएटिव है वो क्रिएट किया गया है उसको क्रिएटिव बोलते हैं और यूट्यूब द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू सी इट दी होस्ट वेर दी एड इज डिस्प्ले इज कॉल्ड मीडिया राइट so you have to know that there is a difference between creative and media now everybody knows what is the difference between creative and media so if you see an ad on a tv tv is a media so there are different media agencies who sell tv spaces who know ki yaar ye wali jagah par hona chahiye itne seconds ke liye hona chahiye so their job is to determine which media is best for you in a campaign because once you run a campaign you not only put an ad only on one media it's a basically a whole campaign so you design a campaign कौन से टाइम पे कौन कौन से मीडिया को यूज करा जाएगा ये टाइप के मीडिया को यूज करा जाएगा कि ये टाइप के मीडिया को यूज करा जाएगा और कौन से मीडिया में कौन से क्रिएटिव को दिखाया जाएगा दैट आल्सो कम्स इन टू रोल सो सुखमिंदर आर वी क्लियर व्हाट इज मीडिया एंड क्रिएटिव सो व्हाट वी सी is a creative us creative mein a decision has to be taken that we want a celebrity or we want a normal celebrity we want an animated animation based site or we want something else this way you decide a creative or a media all right uh, so uh, the metaphor which i use is on a human body there is a spider man so human body is a host for that spider man and a spider man is a creative and human body is a media right <clears throat> so are we clear till here and this is basically today's end of theoretical part acha ye to uske hain uh we'll run a website management for the remaining one hour in left in the uh, class today uh, <clears throat> but before doing that uh okay i'll come to this afterwards first i'll demonstrate in this way. uh i'll also demonstrate you I'll give you a glimpse of what are the various, you know, channels of digital marketing. And uh, in each channel, ke andar, there are multiple platforms, multiple tools. So there are as an advertiser sometimes, or also as a a brand as a host, you'll have choices. That there are few platforms which comes absolutely free. There are few platforms where you have to pay, and there are few platforms where you can earn. 
right so i'll i'll take an example like for example you are a cowboy and you have opened a cowboy club right aapne ek cowboy pub open kar diya where there are drinks and there is saloon and everything else to aap ek city mein gaye aur aapne wo saloon open kara now you are into the whole city and you are a new player what is the first thing you want the first thing you want is people should be able to search you down तो आप डिफरेंट डिफरेंट जगह पे साइनेजेस लगाने की कोशिश करोगे आप उस जगह पे साइनेज लगाने की कोशिश करोगे जहां पे लोग ज्यादातर जाते हैं या पूछते हैं या बैठते हैं या बात करते हैं राइट सो दर्स्ट थिंग यू प्रोबली डिजायर इज दैट यू बिकम सर्चेबल राइट सो दिस इज लाइक एन एस सी एन एस सी एम बेसिकली सर्च इंजन ऑप्टिमाइजेशन या सर्च इंजन मार्केटिंग सो अब वो टूल्स जो आप यूज करोगे कि आप सर्चेबल हो जाओ आपने किसी को बोल दिया यार कोई अगर ये पूछे ना यार कि कहाँ पे बहुत अच्छे ड्रिंक्स मिलते हैं तो ये नया पब खुला है ऐसे करके बोल देना और देख ले यार दोस्ती यारी है अपनी कर देना यू सेड इट लाइक दैट एंड इफ यू पास ऑन द इन्फॉर्मेशन जस्ट इन ऑर्डर ऑफ अ गुड विल आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग एन एग्जाम्पल लिटरली डोंट मैच इट विद एस यू बट वट आई एम ट्राइंग दैट वट आई एम सेंग इज दैट यू हैवेंट पेड एनीथिंग एक्स्ट्रा टू हिम and he passes on that information and that person lands up to your pub so it basically is a search engine optimization you have somehow made your search optimized to various places where it can be searched for is se pucha ja sakta hai iske bare mein aur aapne usko convince kar liya ki wo aapse paise na le aur the you have ultimately landed up an audience into your pub now that becomes seo and You know that there is a pan wala in the corner who is sitting at a very good junction. और वहाँ से बहुत सारे लोग आते हैं, बैठते हैं और कोई भी रास्ता पूछना होता है तो उसी से पूछते हैं. और वो बिल्कुल पेट्रोल लोगों के सामने कोई आके थोड़ा रेस्ट करना चाहता है पब में तो that will be the place. और आप उसके पास गए, अब उसके पास choice है. उसके पास choice है कि जो तो उसके regular customers आते हैं उसके पान और आप क्योंकि उसकी शक्ल आपने पहली बार देखी है आप बोलते हो क्या था नहीं यार कुछ तो लेना पड़ेगा आप या तो पैसे दे जाओ तो मैं बता दूंगा ऑफर्ड यू एट सर्विस सो गूगल इज लाइक दैट पान वाला फॉर सर्टेन जॉब डोंट टेक इट लिटरली कि वो उसके लिए करेगा तो सबके लिए दोनों चीजें करता है बट जस्ट ट्राई टू ग्रैस दी एग्जाम्पल दट वो दोनों सर्विस दे रहा है वो आपके लिए फ्री में भी करता है और वो आपके लिए पेड पे भी करता है और ना If somebody asks for search, उसका बताने का तरीका वही है बस वो जिसके लिए जिसने पैसे दिए होते हैं उसके लिए सबसे पहले बताता है और जिसका फ्री होता है वो उसके बाद बताता है इन दी नेक्स्ट एज एंड इफ यू ओपन अ गूगल पेज या पेपर क्लिक इज अ बैड वर्ड आई आई मीन डोंट यूज इट दिस इज दर्स्ट लिंग एवर सर्ट क्योंकि ये कंसेप्ट डिफाइन नहीं करता ये एक्शन डिफाइन करता है डोंट शुभ माई रिक्वेस्ट विद एवरीबडी ऑफ यू इज डोंट यूज यूर पीपीसी पीपीसी इज सबसे घटिया वर्ड डोंट यूज दैट पेपर क्लिक से क्या पता चलेगा पेपर क्लिक तो कोई भी करेगा इट इज लाइक सर्च इंजन मार्केटिंग करके आप कर रहे हो क्या या कर रहे हो नो एनी वेज आई टॉक एट अ फ्रॉम अ वेरी बेसिक वे दैट आप गूगल गए गूगल वो पान वाला है और जस्ट प्रॉम यूर प्रोडक्ट विच यू वॉन्ट टू सर्च फॉर एनी थिंग फोन विच फोन आई फोन iPhone. You see, okay, Harish, hand blender भी डालेंगे अभी पहले आई फोन करते हैं यू सी दिस विंडो विच इज कमिंग ओवर हेयर ये पान वाले ने अभी दुकान भी लगा ली साथ में उसी की वो एक अलग बात है बट ओवर हेयर यू कैन सी दीज आर दी एड्स कमिंग तो ये की वर्ड सर्च से आपके पास पान वाले ने पैसे लेकर आपके पब तक पहुंचाने का काम करा है over here which you see is organic listing or natural listing you call it this is basically a search engine optimization result so these 
वेबसाइट्स आप बेसिकली लाइक थोड़ा सा प्रिसाइज करते हैं तो यू विल बी एबल टू सी अ बेटर रिजल्ट एंड ओवर हियर यू विल सी दैट जी एस एम अरिना एंड ऑल दैट दीज आर दी प्लेयर्स हु आर नॉट पेइंग एक्स्ट्रा टू डू दैट एंड दे आर ऑप्टिमाइजिंग देयर साइट्स जिसके लिए फ्री में आपको सर्च रिजल्ट देख गए राइट सुखविंदर वॉन्ट पान वाला कंसेप्ट टू बी एक्सप्लेन आई एम सेइंग दैट कम हियर एंड कम हियर ओके यू गॉट इट इल हेयर दैट यू आर अ न्यू काउ बॉय पॉप ओपनर और आपने ओपन कर दिया एक नया काउ बॉय प्लॉग इन अ न्यू सिटी एंड यू हैव बीन अप्रोचिंग वेरियस पीपल एंड वेरियस जंक्शन वेयर पीपल कैन सर्च फॉर यू राइट और आप उनको बोल के चलते हैं सो यू end up in meeting a panwala at a very important junction and is the only panwala sitting over here aur sab log usi se puch lete hain raste and all that aur usse sala bhi le lete hain because they sit over there and you know they can have a cigarette and a cold drink over there now zoom now he has a choice jo uske paas regular aate the aur jinka apna koi business bhi tha unke liye agar karna hota tha to unke liye wo aise hi bata deta hai क्योंकि वो ओवर द इयर्स उन्होंने रिलेशनशिप बिल्ड करी है उनके साथ और किसी तरीके से उसके दिमाग में ऐसे फीड कर दिया कि जब भी कोई इस बारे में पूछे कि यार बहुत अच्छे जी शूज का मिलते हैं तो उसके दिमाग में टॉप ऑफ द माइंड रहता है और वो सर्च में सबसे पहले बता देता है पान वाला कोई बंदा पूछता है कि यार शूज कहाँ से होंगे तो सिगरेट पीते पीते तो उसका रिजल्ट दे देता है ना दैट इज वन ऑप्शन और आपने ये नया पब खोला था और आपको पता है कि यार ये सबसे ज्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट बंदा है इसको जरूर बताना है अगर ये लोगों को मेरे पास भेज देगा तो मेरा बढ़ जाएगा सेल और आप उसके पास गए और आपने कहा कि यार कोई भी मेरे बारे में पूछेगा तो बताना बोले सर आपको तो मैंने पहली बार देखा है तो हाँ आपको तो थोड़ा मुश्किल आप बताओ कैसे मैं आप ना आप कुछ मेरे को पैसे दे दो मैं बता दूंगा या हर एक लीड के लिए मैं दस चार्ज करूंगा आपसे और आप तैयार हो करने के लिए सो द सेम पान वाला is giving two options. एक organic way में आपको बताएगा जिसके लिए कोई चार्ज नहीं लेगा और thanks. और uh, एक आपको वो pay करके भी बताएगा the same way. The same way he says. But the only advantage you get is you get on the top. अगर कोई और pub भी खुल जाता है और आप मुझे पैसे देते हो और कोई आके मुझसे पूछता है तो मैं सबसे पहले बोलूंगा वो वाला जिसके आपने मुझे पैसे दिए कि यार वो वाले पब में जाना वो अच्छा पब है या यहाँ यहाँ पे वो चीजें मिल जाएगी तो उसने बोला और कुछ है हाँ यार वो एक दूसरा पब भी है बट देख लेना उसका उसमें शायद ये वाली सर्विसेज ना मिले बाकी पता कर लेना वहां जाके सो दिस इज हाउ इफ यू लुक ऑन टू दिस पेज वेन आई टाइप फॉर आई फोन दिस इज द रिजल्ट आई एम गेटिंग तो ये जो मुझे ऊपर शॉपिंग विंडो दिख रही है या ये एड दिख रहा है यहाँ पे एड आई फोन सिक्स या यहाँ पे राइट साइड पे मुझे एड दिख रहे हैं दीज आर दी रिजल्ट ऑफ दी पेड एड विच इज कॉल्ड सर्च इंजन मार्केटिंग और यू कैन नेम एनी थिंग दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड पी पी सी पे पर क्लिक क्योंकि आपको सप्लायर को पे करना है क्लिक करने से बट दिस इज दर्ड विच आई डोंट पर्सनली वॉन्ट टू यूज इट बिकॉज इट डजेंट डिफाइन दी कंसेप्ट तो बट एनी वेज पीपल ऑल्सो कॉल्ड इट पीपीसी दी अदर थिंग इज दिस दी ऑर्गेनिक लिस्टिंग जहां पर आपने कुछ भी पे नहीं करा और सिंस यू हैव बीन एंगेजिंग विद दिस पान वाला फॉर नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स सुखमिंदर इज इट क्लियर नाउ या सो सिंस यू हैव बीन एंड लिटरली एस ई ओ इज लाइक दैट आपको हर एक पेज पे बहुत टाइम तक काम करना पड़ता है उसको एफिशियंट बनाना पड़ता है ताकि जब गूगल क्रॉलर्स जो है वो सर्च करें कभी भी एक क्वेरी को तो दे पिक यू अप एज देर फर्स्ट चॉइस इज ब्रेकिंग वट शुड आई डू इज इट कमिंग ओके नाउ रवि जो तो रिजल्ट बेटर ना ऑल राइट आ 
it is silent over here right now. <laughs> yeah. I guess you must be missing me. Because I'm busy here. Right, Sukhwinder? Anyways. Uh, so this is... Uh, what you see over here, uh, a color coding which I've used. Uh, a red is basically where you have to pay. Green is basically where you, where you earn. A, orange is which have a both the equation and yellow is what is free. So various tools and how it can be done. So SEM is, is basically where you have to pay as a supplier or as a brand. SEO comes free to you to do use that. It's only the human resource expenditure which you have to bear <clears throat> then google also gives you <clears throat> like for example to to do an sem search based marketing and uh, the display oriented ads or a youtube ad it all comes as a sub part of a or a shopping result this thing which we have seen over here yeah sorry this ये जो आप देख रहे हैं जब वन मिल कवर गूगल एडवर्ट्स आई डेमोन्स्ट्रेट यू कि ये किस तरीके से आता है और कैसे होता है बट राइट नाउ आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू एन ओवर यू सो दिस आल्सो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ गूगल एडवर्ट्स सो एज अ ब्रांड एज अ सप्लायर एज अ वेबसाइट यू हैव टू स्पेंड मनी इन टू दैट एंड सपोज यू आर अ ब्लॉग राइटिंग साइट फॉर वेरियस न्यू फोन एंड ऑल दैट और यू हैव अ यूट्यूब चैनल टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट अ प्रोडक्ट एंड ऑल दैट so then you can approach through google adsense and you can also earn so if there is a great amount of traffic onto your youtube channel onto your website then google basically gives you a platform to earn as well so it becomes a revenue stream for you as well yeah yes then there is email marketing aapne various posters laga diye ठीक है पान वाले के पीछे भी लगा दिया उसकी दुकान के सो इट बिकम्स अ ये आपने कोई लोकल न्यूज़पेपर में ऐड दे दिए न्यूज लेटर्स यस अभिजोत यू आर वेरी राइट न्यूज लेटर इज अ पार्ट ऑफ ईमेल मार्केटिंग विल कवर ईमेल मार्केटिंग इन अ वन पर्टिकुलर सेशन होपफुली नेक्स्ट ओनली देन वेबसाइट एनालिसिस गूगल एनालिसिस एक टूल है या देर आर वेरियस टूल्स अवेलेबल उसके थ्रू हम कर सकते हैं ये सब विल बी कवरिंग एंड दिस विल बी बेसिकली द होल डोमेन ऑफ डिजिटल मार्केटिंग एंड विल कवर ऑल दीज टॉपिक्स इन डेप्थ सेशन बाय सेशन राइट नॉट इन दी ऑर्डर विच आई सेड द ऑर्डर कैन बी डिफरेंट देन कोई एंटरटेनमेंट क्लब है कहीं थिएटर है या कहीं कुछ ऐसा है उस सिटी में और वहां पर जाकर अगर आप बिकॉज पीपल आर गोइंग फॉर दैट एंटरटेनमेंट ओवर देयर नॉट फॉर यू टू एडवर्टाइज but you see an opportunity a crowd crowd gathering over there and spending time over there aur aap us theater mein kehte ho ki ya theater ke beech mein jo interval aayega na wahan pe mera banner laga dena ya give me 2 minutes i'll just speak whatever i'll entertain and i'll also demonstrate my product so that becomes a social media promotion because you are there in facebook or youtube for your wish right for your entertainment for your way of passing time or doing whatever you want to do but since there is a great platform and there people thank you thanks sukminder so you also get the chance to demonstrate that so it becomes like that yeah then there are affiliate marketing affiliate marketing anyways we all know so you have given a good example so we'll study a little about affiliate marketing also there is one thing which i want to show about affiliate marketing because i, I personally i can't say i like it but i enjoyed it because they give a look look and feel of it you must have because i'm into e-commerce so uh, this is something i enjoyed if you see this site sorry what was that yeah be i'll search in google yeah yeah.com this is a very good affiliate e-commerce kind of example <coughs> Now, if you look into it, ये complete e-commerce site दिखती है, right? It looks like a complete e-commerce site. कि आप यहीं से आपकी सारी transaction होंगी, सब कुछ इधर ही होगा. 
but let's say we go to women and we go to jeans and capris for example yeah and we go to let's say viro moda jeans skip that and you would see ki wo jeans jo hame pasand aa rahi thi were ultimately landed on the landing buy now page of jabong.com ab agar main ye jeans khareed lu ya main abhi na bhi khareedu aur main cookies refresh na karu apne browser ki ab fir kabhi khareedu is site par aake so as an affiliate marketer ye bhi will be paid by jabong to giving them a lead and making the transaction happen yeah so in the facade of it they are first wo affiliate market when you come to affiliate marketing you can create a product whatever wish you want and ye bhi have decided to create a very very you know an e-commerce oriented look and feel only it is only that once you go to a transaction page you ultimately land up to the site owner right so clear till here i guess we're going i'm going very very slow uh, i'm sorry for that but hopefully everything which we are discussing is getting interesting and clear right all right uh all right on the theoretical aspect this is the last thing which i want to discuss today that just not try uh so we have to start website management today we'll start it today hopefully we will not be able to complete it because it's only half an hour left but i'll uh, see this topic which i picked up introduction yes and i'm i'm hoping that it is not due to boredom right <laughs> but anyways Uh, this is the introductory session. That is why it is little theoretical and boring, uh, guys. Just bear with me. But the coming sessions will not be that boring. Can be little. After all, I am taking that. But anyways, uh, Subminder says okay. So you are giving an approval for that, right? Anyways, no, no, it's I am just kidding. Let's make it light. Uh, what I am saying is that. Uh, in the following sessions it will be little better right anyways uh, so don't only be an accountant try to be a financer this is what i say debit credit mat karte raho a tools running is not more than enough you have to be a little more than that anyways uh, now we'll we are coming on to the a little interesting part of website making uh it is not best in making actually actually it is basically management so today we'll be seeing how we can handle a website uh, through a back panel of cms we'll be using wordpress for this uh so we are moving from uh, first we'll cover product which is website making so this topic will be which we have started today uh, the introduction and website management and optimization will run for two three classes uh so next uh today we'll start that it will take a little bit of half session on the next and then we'll start the search engine optimization once we are over with that we'll go to email marketing then we'll go to facebook promotion then we'll go to youtube promotion then we'll go to google adwords and then the others and others this is how we'll proceed right uh all right so since we all know what is domain name i guess we know yeah we know what is domain name so domain name is basically an address apne koi ek plot liya hai aur wo plot ka ek address chahiye humko right so you have an address with you a domain name so how a website comes into formation i'm discussing on a very very basic level and in a very easy language how a website comes into formation first we have to have an address we have to have a space right so for that it is called domain name now there are two concepts 
सिर्फ नाम लेना या एड्रेस लेना इज नॉट मोर देन इन आफ सो वट यू डू इज यू लेट से यू गो टू एनी साइट विच ऑफर्स दो डोमेन लेट से आई गो टू गो डैडी गो डैडी डॉट कॉम हाँ आई कम टू होस्टिंग बट बट डेट आई डेमोस्ट्रेट वॉट इज होस्टिंग राइट सो फर्स्ट यू नीड टू बुक अ नेम राइट हाउ डू यू बुक अ नेम यू गो टू दीज सर्विस प्रोवाइडर्स एंड दे रेंट इट आउट टू यू एंड यू फॉर दर टेक अर लीज ऑन दैट राइट सॉरी मै सिस्टम इजल स्लो ओके सो लेट्स आई वॉन्ट निखिल ग्रोव डॉट कॉम for example and a search for that so it's saying nikhilrow.com is not available and these are available so i can buy that uh let's say nikhilrow.com was available and i booked that and i booked it i can book it for a year two year five year or whatever what is that mean that means that this is now with me on lease for that duration now this is only a name this is only a place and this is only a land which i bought but there has to be a house built on that and before that there has to be wo land kahin par hum mujhe rakhna padega to main jahan pe bhi banaunga there has to be a hosting space for that and that is why it is called a hosting space because i not only have to buy a name i also have to buy these are extensions <coughs> yeah tls as <coughs> so this is <coughs> they are promoting their product <coughs> calling it for additional years <clears throat> that if you buy it for first year it will be like this and for additional years it will be uh, for a better deal so they are using their word ad like like given an example of fulfillment by amazon fba jo unka sub product tha ye ad inka sub product hai uh, go daddy ka it is like that right okay so let's say i bought that and the next stage which i have to do is i have to buy a hosting space and if i want to make a site through cms i have to take service of the cms so meko cms me jaake login karna hoga but now uh, there are few do- few providers like for example they provide they also provide a web hosting service directly on to the cms so i can just go over that and link my uh, site with them तो फिर मेरे को इसमें से कोई प्लान चूज करना होगा और लेट से मैंने कोई भी प्लान चूज कर लिया एन आई बॉट इट एन आई अल्टीमेटली लैंड अप विद निखिल ग्रोवर डॉट कॉम लाइक दिस इट्स अ वेरी न्यू वेबसाइट विच आई विच आई टेकन फॉर दी डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिंग इन दीज क्लासेस सो वंस यू गेट दैट you will get an admin panel for it and you will get a user id and password it is already faded so it will directly land to the dashboard like this is the username this is the password and you log into it and you ultimately land up in this dashboard and like i have been said that you will be given or probably you were already been given uh, the free website from dmp uh, that will have this kind of look and feel at the starting so it is their basic theme uh, what is called uh, 2016 this is a basic theme of wordpress and then you can make changes in that this is more of a personal blogging oriented kind of theme and if you want extra you can know so what we now start doing it we'll go topic by topic we'll try to make different post into it what can be done blogs kaise banenge then we'll try to make a new pages for that then we also extra themes mein kya changes ho sakte hain plugins kaise aa sakte hain we'll go one by one for making a site so 
यार अभी जो दैट गुड यू कैन टेक अ गुड थीम फ्रॉम थीम इफ आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग वेरी बेसिक थीम सो दैट हम कंटेंट पे ज्यादा अभी डिस्कस कर पाए दैट इज द रीजन आई एम नॉट टेकन एन एग्जिस्टिंग थीम ओनली बट इन फैक्ट आई एल रिकमेंड यू टू गो फॉर अ बेटर थीम दिस इज नॉट अ गुड थीम टू वर्क अपॉन सो गो फॉर अ बेटर थीम डिपेंडिंग अपॉन वॉट कैन ऑफ साइट यू वॉन्ट मेक but this is only for the demonstration uh, and for everybody also uh, take this thing into the mind that whatever we are going to learn over here in the session will be like a class or will be like giving you an idea of what can be done and how it can be done you will only get to learn once you get into a real practice mode so for every hour of learning you do here you have to do at least 20 hours or 30 hours of demonstration at your home then only you will get to know things better yeah so we have a limitation of towards time and we'll follow this kind of rule uh all right so if you see over here oh, sorry let me open the site front end so it is the site front end on one side and it is the site's back end on one side you can also into your browser over there you will not see at this kind of panel coming over here now <clears throat> what you see over here are different pages yeah this is about us page which i have renamed as i me myself because it's an individual oriented site naming about us will be quite funny so i have named it as i me myself this is a contact page where there is a these are different page and this is a blogging page and here there are different blog different articles which which are there uh, there are few articles which i have kept password protected and there are few articles which are or blogs which are open for uh, visibility so what we do is we try to make a new blog today and try to see what options are there first we'll see what is a dashboard what we can see over here the dashboard is divided into five six components first a glance component where basically you will be able to check out what is happening to the site that right now currently we have five posts post as in articles blogs and six pages running into it uh, into the site okay then there is go daddy garage basically we have purchased this product from uh, go daddy so go daddy ka अलग से टैब आ रहा है वेर यू कैन यू नो दे कीप ऑन प्रॉम्प्टिंग वेरियस न्यू इंट्रोडक्शन एस यू का प्लग इन है दिस आई एम इग्नोरिंग इट फॉर राइट नाउ वील कवर इट वॉन्स वी कवर एस यू देन देर इज वन विंडो फॉर वर्ड वर्ड प्लस न्यूज वेरियस न्यूज विद डिस्प्ले एंड दिस इज अ क्विक ड्राफ्ट लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू राइट यू वॉन्ट टू राइट अ ब्लॉग सो यू हैव the idle way of going about is you have to go to post you have to click on add new and then you have to write it down but since you are in an article writing the thoughts start coming across your mind at various different point of times so you can just start it and just save it as a draft so they have given a quick window rather than going on to that you can just write it down here yeah yes if we uh, i'll demonstrate i'll just wait for certain time i'll demonstrate one by one so whatever we are going to make the changes at the back panel it will be straight away <coughs> reflected on the front panel so what first we are discussing the dashboard <coughs> so this is the dashboard right <coughs> sorry now we are moving towards posts post the different article good old post i'm sorry the website has gone a little slow uh and these are the posts which are already there let's say i want to add a new post so i click on add new voice breaking voice breaking voice breaking is it proper now wait
Okay. Now, are you able to hear? Okay, that could be okay. Can you hear now? Okay, Vangar can hear me. Uh, everybody else, am I audible now? So good to go, right? So, okay. So we have clicked on add new for the new article, new post and we can write down let's say a new batch today that is the title i'm sorry the internet has fallen a little slow Sorry friends, just bear with me. Uh, somehow my Airtel has ditched me. So the internet is a little slow. internet has gone slow guys you have to just bear with me i have to switch off and switch on the modem probably then only it will come in so just it's it you can take a break of two minutes this is what i can say uh be online i'll just do the need for right
muted. Unmuted. Uh, friends, can you hear me now? All right. Sorry for this situation in between, but thanks to Airtel, I can expect that. Uh, anyways, so we are moving back to the admin panel and to the website. Okay, we can log into the website once we have So we are moving to post. Let's see if it is there in the draft. No. So what you do is, since you want to have a new article into it. Oh, sorry, sorry. Is this screen visible now? Okay, so let's say let's say I'm writing down a new blog, a wonderful new batch. So what you get over here is title which you can put for the blog and this is the URL for this. So on the first side you get the URL of the site which you're working and then the extension. Now it takes by default but you can also edit that. It is helpful once you do a an SEO. Once we come to SEO you'll see that uh, the keywords has to be in every round and then. So uh, changing an URL related to a keyword helps us out over there. Uh, but right now we're not focusing that. We are focusing on how to bring a change in the front end of the website, working on the back end of the website. So, uh, where is it? Line from deleted. Okay. Now, if you look onto this panel over here, uh, over Over here, this panel is basically more or less like working on a MS Word. So you have, you can write down a title over here. Uh, let's say, wonderful new batch. Right? This is the title, let's say. And then you're writing, uh, I've started a new batch today at digital marketing at Shala and I'm so happy to have group of wonderful new trainees with me. Okay. So let's say this is the blog and I can write down upon and upon. Now we'll work on various functionality. First, uh, the headline is basically on to the six different modules. It goes from H1 to H6. So it's up to me how how much bigger and all that I want. Uh, so I can go and put it as a headline. Then this is, I can, if I want to make anything italics, 
I can make that. This is quite basic stuff, right? So let's move on to little more. Let's move into suppose in a in a article, I want to give a backlink to a landing page, right? I want something that if somebody clicks onto that will land up to a different page. So let's say I want to give a, a backlink to digital marketing part chart. So what I do is I select that, I go and select a link for window. This is here. I'll again demonstrate. First, I select the text to which I want it to hyperlink to a different URL and I go and I click on this insert link. Once I do that, I write down the landing page which I want to give. Let's say I want to give digital marketing part seller.com. Right? And I now it's my choice. I want it, it to be open in a new tab on the same tab. It is always preferable that it should be opening up on a new tab because your existing browsing is not disturbed. Yeah, and then you add link. So once we post that, publish this article. Yes, we'll we'll come one by one, uh, Ravijay. We'll come one by one. There are yeah, there are various steps we have to follow. And we'll come on to the pages. Right now we are on to the post. We'll come on to the pages. We'll discuss how our background is changed, how a new image is insert, so and and so forth, right? <clears throat> okay. So an hyperlink is is something which you can do it from here. Okay. Then let's say I want to add a picture over here or an image over here so what i can do is i can go and click on to add media now wordpress provide one platform of adding media so it can be a jpeg oriented site or the image it can be a png it can be a pdf file it can be anything so they give you a one window kind of option uh, so you have to click on add media and you can add that image whatever you want to put in the blog and let's say uh my image is sitting out somewhere i can just go in go and select on browsing uh, window and then i can select from here i can for all the images which you keep on adding it will also make you a media library so these are the past images which i've used somehow uh so i can pick from here also so let's have picked it up from here once i do that Select that this you can see on the right hand side these are the various options which comes with it uh, this will be very helpful friends once we do an SEO so once we do and search engine optimization the motors of I'll just give you a glimpse of uh, a motors of Rindy of search engine optimization here uh, search engine optimization is a task of creating a web page or a website a submission of various web pages and working on every page differently once you work on every page differently the idea is that every page should be so optimized that search engine searches you as quickly as possible and gives you a highest ranking so in order to do that every steps count one search once search engines start on searching on any keyword being searched like a google search you search a keyword let's say you're searching digital marketing for example so it goes into its inventory of websites and see uh, you know various combinations linked with digital marketing and in that aspect my blog or my article over here right now will have an image also but how would a system a crawler understands a image so in order to do that it is always advisable at least i advertise uh, advise even if you are not doing for the directly for seo always name an image once you name an image uh, it becomes very very easy in different functionalities including seo so all text which is alternate text is basically naming an image so that the search engine basically understands what what does this image means right so i can name it anything which i want i'm naming it over here the name of the logo with 
itself so i'm renaming it Kartshala, right i can also write down uh, caption and attachment uh, the description but it's on to me to do that uh, <clears throat> now this is the alignment basically in the blog do you want it to be onto the left hand side of the page Okay, audio is no not coming again. Is the audio problem uh, getting again with everyone? Fine, which Avan, Arish, Ravi Jyot, and uh, Sukhvinder, Subin. Shubham is getting a little problem. Clear. I guess we just bear with me a little uh, a minute or two. It will get clear. Probably could be a problem due to internet slow collection. Probably. Okay, so I'm just going forward now, and then <clears throat> it's up to you. You want this image to be on the right hand side or onto the center or onto the uh, left hand side. So it gives an alignment. If you do none, it will by default come onto the left hand side. <clears throat> Since it was anyways blank over there where we were putting, it will come onto the left. Now it's up to you, now that you want this image to link further, right? So if once you see a blog on a website, on a page, on a main page, and you want that if somebody clicks onto the website, what will have happen? If you keep it default, it will basically become enlarged, right? So it 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 is nothing but a media file kind of option, right? And if you want it to be attached through a page or through a URL. you can even do that so if you want to attach to a url uh, of dmp dot shala.com it will land to that right the size of the image okay uh, since it is a size coming over here i'll and in say introductory class i'll like to ask do you know the aspect ratio the sizing of an images size are into pixels width into height but anyways i'm just going forward with this and then i'll ask this question does we know what is an size of the image on what units it is done like for a newspaper advertisement is in a centimeter or an inch size and outdoor advert our door is on a feet size how the image which we display on a website in what units it is displayed pixels and what is the aspect ratio shubham i guess you must be knowing but this is the question for everybody else uh what is aspect ratio this you will be very very uh, this will be very very helpful once you do a creative मीडिया टूर्स तो हम रन कर ही रहे जब भी हमको कोई क्रिएटिव बनाना होगा कोई ब्लॉग लिखना होगा इमेजेस वेंकट कैन यू जस्ट ट्राई इट एट योर एंड वंस लॉग इन एंड लॉग आउट लॉग आउट एंड लॉग इन एंड देन प्रोबेबली इट कुड गो बेटर बिकॉज इट इज गेटिंग फाइन टू एवरीबॉडी एल्स राइट yara yeah, vijot but what is aspect ratio my question is what is aspect ratio not the size of the image but the ratio yes yes you're right so 851 by 315 will be of certain ratio so when you make a creative you basically makes in a ratio and make it on a little high resolution so that even if you increase the size it does not get pixelated it does not get blur so image katta fatta hai na wo sab nahi hoga so everybody clear about it sukhminder are you clear about it murli haresh okay uh, i'll just try to make it again clear any image which you see will be of certain width into height right and in digital language the unit which you use is pixels now 
once a designer make an image or if you come across with the images there are two ways of looking about it the one way of looking about it is getting the actual size ki uska width kitna pixel se height kitna pixel se like for example ravi jyot has given an example that fb page ka jo cover hota hai uska size jo hai wo 851 is to certain uh, size pe hota hai right pixels i'll just check it out because even i forget what what are the actual dimensions Ravi Jyot, can you just let us know what is the actual size again, please, of the FB uh, cover page? Eight fifty one is to three one five. So let me open a FB page only. So this is the cover image, and for this cover image, uh, this is the size 851 is to 315, right? Now this is the actual size, and if you want to have its ratio, we can make it ratio as well. So how how would you determine ratio? You determine ratio like this. Since it is not very easy calculation, I'm doing it here, and I'm really bad in maths as well. So 851 is it? Height is 315, and if you divide it this by 315, you'll get one, and you divide this by 315, you'll get two. So the ratio is 2.7 is to one. The ratio is 2.7. Or let's say 2.8 is to one. Now so this is the ratio, right? So what happens is once you are a digital marketer for a brand, or you have made an image, and now this image will be used at various platforms. You have to make a cover of it, you have to make an ad for it, or you have to make an ad for it, or you have to make an ad. जब आप YouTube में भी इसी का ऐड करना चाह रहे हो या वेबसाइट में किसी और डायमेंशन में आप करना चाह रहे हो सो यू हैव यू विल हैव वेरियस टास्क ऑफ रनिंग इन टू ऑन टू द डिफरेंट मॉड्यूल्स ऑफ कैंपेन वन शुड बी रनिंग सो व्हाट यू विल बी व्हेन सिटिंग विद द क्रिएटिव टीम एंड द ग्राफिक डिजाइनर हु एवर इज मेकिंग दैट एंड गिविंग योर कंट्रीब्यूशन यू विल नॉट टॉक ऑन ओनली इन एक्चुअल साइजेस यू विल आज हम क्या मेरे को एक 3:1 का रेशियो दे दे एक 2:1 का रेशियो दे दे एक 1:1 का रेशियो दे दे and you can use it at different platforms so what happens is even if the size goes to let's say very big let's say this into 20 and sorry this into 20 halaki aise ratio hoga nahi but i'm just giving an example right now This into 20. So what happens is, even if your ratio is 1,000, 17,000 is to 6,300 pixels, even then, if the image is has been made in certain ratio, it will fit to the size, right? And if in case it is very high resolution, it will not get blurred, right? So छोटा अगर फोटो होगा तो वो जितना आप उसको stretch करोगे वो फटता चला जाएगा. Clear नहीं होएगा. So are we clear? What is aspect ratio, and why have to we have to work in aspect ratio? Because the same creative can be used in different platforms. Uh, yes, Ravi Jyot is clear about it. Uh, Harish Shubham is anyways must be clear. Shravan Harish Shukminder, are you clear? All right. Okay, let's get to the business again. anyways so this is how we have put the and this these are the various tools which you can you know play around you will get to know once you start writing blogs with yourself 
and uh, okay uh, there is one while writing a blog they have given one option which i personally enjoy it it is basically uh, people who are tend in tends to write and write various blogs and all that uh, for them writing mode is in work of isolation so they they basically do not want any distractions and somehow working in this module is a distraction because there you know there is a left hand panel over here then there is a panel over here so while writing they do, do not want to get disturbed because they are into the page of writing or a mode of writing they want to do it so there is a button or distraction distraction free writing mode if you click on that you will see that the side panels move away so you will only have a page visible and you can concentrate and it will not distract your eyes and move and if you want once you are done with the writing you can just click it and it will come back again right okay it please it yeah sure subin uh, the class is getting recorded it will be uploaded on to the i'll just share the link with you keep this link with you oh friends we have crossed the time sorry i have just not checked out the time we'll just upload the uh, it is not working wait but it is working but it is working uh you can also go to i guess digital uh, youtube and check it out for digital marketing part challenge it'll land up to this link okay anyway i'm just removing it from here so ignore this seo wala page we'll cover it once we do the seo till for um, for now just ignore it and then you can put it on to different categories Uh, in category also, let's say for example, I can put it into digital marketing training and marketing training. Suppose I want to add a new category and put it under that. I can just click onto the new category. I can put. Let's say I want to put a new category called batchmates. And for batchmate, this is the category. Now, I want it to be a parent category in itself, or I may choose it to be a sub category of a parent category. So I have a choice of selecting a parent category from the already existing categories. Let's say I have made it a subcategory of digital marketing. Spelling of marketing is wrong, so I'm selecting this marketing training. Yeah, so you can do that. So I've done that. Now moving on to the tags window. What is tag? It is like a Facebook tag, what we use, right? It's basically I I define tag in a in a way that it's a one word summary or whatever you are putting as content so you have to define yourself in one word that will work as a tag for me a keyword right a one word a keyword what a keyword can be of key phrases right so it can be so try try to put the tag which is not very long it it has to be one two three words wala tag so let's say my tag can be digital marketing part chala it will also help us out in searches right so internal website searches as well as on the search engine based searches so like google mein koi ye tags ye search karega to ye tags will help us out to reach to the end product which is this blog which you have written guys we have already crossed the time so i won't take much of your time we'll end this session in another 2 3 5 minutes right not more than that so let's say digital marketing is a tag it's already existing let's say batchmates is a tag which i want to put so i can add that and it'll come as a tag so i can put n number of tags related to this article the more exhaustive you make the better it is and then uh, you can also ignore the format uh, as of now we'll change different formats once we proceed with that so let's work on the standard format uh, format as of now 
then the status currently is draft you can, once we publish it will get published in a visibility they give us two three options one option is viewing it for the public and the other option is password protected it is very easy uh, suppose you want it only to be visible to close confidence and the one from to which you can share the password offline and they can just log in the password and check out onto the blog and it should not be visible to the public so you can just go to the password and put down a password so it will become a password protector i'm putting public as of now and you also have an option of uh, putting it for a different date and scheduling it like for example i'm in a mood of writing republic day article right now and i've written it but i really want it to be displayed on 25th that doesn't make sense uh acha the public day to parso hi hai but <laughs> uh, let's say uh, i've written this republic day article on 15th of january but i want it to be published on 25th night or 26th afternoon or something like that so i can just go and edit and select the date time uh, you know patch from here and then go ahead with that uh, but since i don't want that i want it to be immediately i'll click on publish right let's click on publish so it is published and we'll check the status on to the main site so you can just log into your browser as well everybody can log into their website and log into their website and click on nikhilgrover.com and go to blogs and you see that it has come on to the top yeah we can also check it out see these are the tags which are coming these are the sub categories and this is the tag which is coming and this is the heading and we see if this works link yes it is working once we click on to this link we'll getting on to the land landing page this is a part of off page uh, optim search engine optimization we'll get in depth once we do that and this is the image we have selected it to go to a link so if we click the image we are landing up to the landing page if we would not have selected that and would have either left it by default or would have selected uh, uh you know uh, a media option then it would have enlarged ye logo bada ho gaya main dikhta fir so got it you can check it out at your browser as well so you will get the idea so whatever changes we are doing at the background as a layman without taking help of any developer it is very very fast happening on the front end and it is very very costly uh, what should i say cost free affair there is hardly any money which you have put to put an infrastructure like that yeah. so all clear any doubts friends harish mulli ravi jyot shubham there is one thing which yeah you can put a query and there is one thing which you have to do right now and uh, this is quite important it will be for your own as well as my help yes subin of course it works in fact your content has to have repeated times of uh, the keyword for which you want the seo to search for this is the field i am answering you ravi jyot i'll just feed the question and answer meanwhile <coughs> i'll request every one of you to click on to the feedback link <coughs> and fill the feedback form for today's class and put your comments as well and this is uh, in certain sense it is mandatory do that and let me know that you are done please uh, ravi jyot uh, start working on website and not Similar to earlier, so I got stuck somewhere. And the Jeep man is not able to reply every time. 
second giving any other reason at all. <laughs> all right. Uh, because they have put me in dock. But anyways, uh, I'm sharing with everyone my email ID. Since you are in this batch now, also in this batch now. Uh, Seven zero seven, and this is my phone number. So I'll be uh, very very happy to help you guys. And there can be certain things which probably will not be into my domain, and I may not be educated about helping you out in that. Uh, but for anything which I'll be able to help you out, I'll surely help you out. Yeah, uh, thanks, Rupinder. Uh, your number will be there with the admin. I'll also ask admin to create a different group for this batch. So you can just put down your query onto the WhatsApp to me directly or into the group which I'll ask admin to mail. Email ID I've already shared, Harish. You can just check it out. I'll try it down again. No, I've already put it. But anyways, I'm sharing it with you again. This is my email ID and my phone number. Okay, you can have it again, Harish. This is my email ID and my phone number. You guys can check it out. Harish, I've just written it over here. It's over the. You can just check it out, no? Didn't get it. Here it is. So you can mail me the queries. You can do WhatsApp, whatever. Acha feedback, you're saying. Oh, sorry. Here is the feedback link. So please go and fill your feedback. Do write the comments. It will help me out in shaping the forward session. And uh, Ravi Jod, you can put your query on the uh, email or onto the WhatsApp. I'll, if in case I'll be able to help you out, I'll surely help you out. No, no, no. I'm not sending you any email, Harish. Uh, what are you asking? You're asking for feedback, right? So for feedback, I've shared the link. Click onto the link. You'll land up to a page, a form. Just fill that feedback form. And for different queries for my email ID, if you want to approach me for any query or anything, here is my it is groverjnickel at the gmail.com. I've also written it down. Have you got it, Harish? It is okay. Write it down. I don't know why you can't see the chat, but write it down. Grover, G R O V E R. This is my last name. Then J, J for Jug. Then Nikhil, N I K H I L. At the rate, gmail dot com. Did you got it now? Okay, uh, friends, whosoever is keep on filling the form and complete with that, please inform me here in the chat that you are done, and then you can also leave. Saying goodbye. Thanks, Rubin. If is there any question, you can put me across, and you can also leave if in case you want to. I'll stay here till the last one of you is done and over with any question and all that. Thanks, Sukhminder. You are done with the uh, with the feedback. Thanks, Shubham. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, and have a great weekend and a week ahead. See you guys next week. Thank you, Ravjot, Ravijot, and. Uh, uh, you can put me a uh, query on the WhatsApp or on an email. I will try to help you out. And see you next week. Sure.
यहाँ पे घूमना है सी यू गाइज नेक्स्ट वीक एंजॉय योर वीक लिव लाइफ टू दी फुलेस्ट यार and do practice things whatever we discuss uh murli uh, your feedback please have you filled that venkat thanks everyone Sure, sure, Harish. If you have done the uh, form, you can just leave. Yes, Ravan. Uh, certifications are the part of the course, and I've been told there will be around six certifications. Uh, but uh, in detail, uh, I'll request you the number which is there on the slide: uh, five times nine, five seven two double five. Uh, you can just approach in this number and get clear with any query related to admin certifications and all that uh, yeah i'll i only take the responsibility of you know training part of it only yeah thank you sukminder you can take a leave we'll see you next week yeah thanks everyone thanks thank you thank you guys yeah qualification murli uh, for i don't know if there will i think you have to complete the course first that will be the qualification other any other thing uh, to join the course i don't think so there is any qualification yeah so you can join in whatever way you want so Will you have you? I don't think so. It is only that you will be able to read and add and comprehend. That's it. Digital marketing is is not sir is not an advanced course of anything. So it's a basic course in itself in some way or the other. So, will you? There is no academic qualification. The only thing is that whatever has been shown should be able to comprehend. That's it. Uh, have you filled the uh, feedback form fully please do that if in case you have it uh, venkat can you pl please fill the yeah please do that right now it it hardly take a minutes time thank you thanks ravan thanks for being here yeah venkat uh, is am i audible to you and i'm sorry you faced a little audit uh, audit audio problems today uh, but i guess it must have been fine over the time will uh, just let me know once you're done with the feedback form and when could you to please all right friends any questions before i leave a small request if you can let us know the topic in advance which you take in coming up with preparation on sure uh, that's a good idea shravan uh, today was the first class of this batch so it was an introductory uh i'll also let the rc admin to share the topic with all since everybody is not here but i'm sharing it with you and i've also shared in between but i'm sharing it with you again uh basically we'll be covering the website management and search engine optimization 
uh, in two three sessions so first we have done the introduction today we'll continue uh, uh, in the next session on website management basically how to make new pages you know getting on to various appearances and themes background images and all that uh, and then we'll uh, straight away jump to seo so seo will start covering in the next session only so uh, in seo has two major domains on page and off page so we'll try to cover on page optimization next next session and then on on the following off page optimization thanks murli thank you and then after that we'll do email marketing so the next session will be on website management and search engine optimization part 1 yeah. thank you murli uh, uh, you may leave in fact i'll also take a leave since everybody has venkat is not responding somehow venkat if you are here please fill the form and if you have any query just prompt me um all right chavan did you got it so thank you so taking a leave now thanks thanks for your time and see you next week bye bye